D line's going so far? Me personally, I I think I think we're, we're looking looking pretty good. We're looking we're looking extremely good. I say uh, the best D line I've been with by far since I've been here, and I think we're just ready to attack the season. We're ready for the season to approach and get here and you know get things rolling. Yeah, I, th I think we're looking very dominant. I think we still got a ways to go. I think just about everybody on our D line has a lot of room for improvement, and I think that will happen as the season goes on. So, I mean, I'm just excited to see everybody elevate, really. As new defensive line coach every year you've been here. So, this year <laughs> with Deke back, how nice is it to have a little familiarity there? Yeah, yes, sir. It, it's very comfortable. Uh, I know what I'm getting. I know I know what to expect from him. Uh, and, and he holds us to a very high standard. So, for him getting him back here uh, this year again is, is a really, a really big deal for me. Is this the most depth they've had on the defensive line since you've been here? I feel like yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you talk about the last year you were a new guy transfer mm -hmm. in? Can you talk about the transfers and how they've looked? I know some of them are interior, mm -hmm. but the forward transfer. Oh, I think it's I think it's made a, a big impact for our D line. Without the transfer portal, we'd have about I mean, defensive end about three ends that actually have in game experience is all we would have if we didn't have the portal, but because of the portal, we got about six ends that have started in power in power five college football. So I think that'll be really big having guys who can rotate in that know what, like what they're about to go up against. So, I mean, I'm, ex I'm excited to see how it goes. Here with all the people coming yeah. in at midterm now, the high school kids, yeah. but the three defensive linemen that signed with D, none of them came at midterm. And, and what have you guys seen from those three kids? I think they're all really athletic. Like I think Ian, being almost 400 pounds, he moves extremely well. And then uh, I think Caleb can move really well. And I think Quincy is a phenomenal athlete. I think the only thing holding them back is just really the learning aspect, being that early on, you know. They just need a little bit of time to fully get the playbook down, fully understand what they're doing so they can move at their at, at the highest speed possible because that's the only thing slowing them down is just not knowing where to be at the right time, stuff like that. So they just got to – Learn to play a bit more. And, I mean, it all comes with time. So I think they'll be really good uh, players for us. A little more on Ian Jafford. I was wondering what you guys' initial impressions were of a guy that walks in at 6'5", 394, and uh, just how has he been in, in the locker room in addition to your team? He, he's, he's huge. And we just try to get around him and, you know, coach him up and give him all the intel that, you know, so we didn't get as coming in as freshmen. So we just try to help him with that edge just so he can get an advantage on, you know, college football. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one That's one thing I really like about those three freshmen that came in. They're all really eager to learn. They're always asking us questions, wanting to – they're wanting to get better, wanting to learn. They're not sitting there, I mean, not just, just happy to be here. They're actually wanting to get better and wanting to, wanting to learn. So I think that uh, really is going to help, help for us a lot in the future as well. And, I mean, I'm, I'm so ready to see – what they'll be whenever they can fully just take it all in and get used to everything. You said you go up against Devon Manuel quite a bit. Uh, in the spring, was he all the way down to 282? I yes. mean, it says he would like, I mean, I know he'd lost a lot of weight, mm -hmm. um, but he's back up about 310 now. What have you noticed with him since the spring to now? Like, how, where has he improved? His confidence. You could tell he's playing a lot more confident. He's uh, moving really well and he doesn't really second guess himself as much. Like, if he messes up, he, he takes it in and then fixes it the next play. So I think his confidence is getting a lot better. His footwork's always been pretty good. But with the size now, he's, he's he maintained his speed and put on a lot of weight. And I think that's helped him a lot. And I think he'll be a really good tackle for us. You said you thought the best defensive line you've been a part of. What what what, what makes you feel that way? Uh, I just uh, – we really care about each other. You know, it, the chemistry in the room with each other uh, is really like a true brotherhood. And whenever one of us is having a bad practice, you know, we uplift each other. We talk to each other. We communicate to each other. And whenever we're, we're one person is making a play, shoot, we all start making a play. It's just how the dice roll. I feel like we, we really feed off each other. Uh, Wayne, you talked about Devin. What, what about some of the other offensive linemen? Or Especially the guys that haven't played a lot, like like excluding, but you know, Limmer and Latham. Who else on the line stand out to you? Maybe, maybe you both could address that. I think Patrick Curtis has made a lot of leaps since last season, 
And I think they got him starting right now, and I think he'll hold that role as well. And, uh, I mean, he's a really strong kid. He's he's squatting not as much as Bo, but really close to it. And then, uh, I mean, he's really strong in the weight room. He's good with his hands. He just – I'd say the only thing he has to do is just, I mean, continue to learn. That's That that will really help him a lot. And uh, but I think he'll be a really, a really great uh, offensive lineman, especially whenever he gets into his – Older seasons as well. Especially guys coming up. Uh, I think the, the the new guys that are coming in, they're they're stepping in, they're 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 picking up things quicker, and they're learning from the vets. Uh, Brady Latham is a, is a really good offensive lineman. He's great feet, you know, great hands. You know, we go back and forth in you know, each practice to make each other better. Uh, Bo is doing a lot better on his combos. Like he's really digging in there in the hip. And, and banging across and climbing up to the next level, uh, and then Brian, he's he's a, he's a really great offensive lineman. He has really great hands. He has good length, and, and he really has good weight. So it's, it's very hard to move him out the way. And I just try to you know point out their weaknesses before we get to the season, so they can perfect their craft. Mm -hmm. That's tomorrow. But, but um, what, 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 what's your take on on the scrimmage? What are you looking to get out of that? Both personally and from the team standpoint. Well, from the team standpoint, just for uh, our defense to take another step, take another leap, and uh, really dominate tomorrow. And then personally, I mean, me and TC both can say that. I mean, Coach Adams told us that in the practice, we're everybody's competing for a position. So to go out there, compete, and play. I mean, think of it as a game. Go out there and try getting to the quarterback. Try getting off blocks, making plays, and not thinking of it, think of it as just another day. I mean, think of it as a game and make plays. Absolutely agree. Yeah, tomorrow's a really big day for the D-line. We'll see what we can do uh, chemistry-wise in the game setting. Coach Adams was just in here kind of talking about the, the potential of a three-deep rotation. I'm just curious, have either of you ever been a part of a, a defensive line that can kind of go three-deep? And, you know, when you think about that potential, what stands out the most to you? Uh, the last time I've been a part of a three deep defensive line was the year we went to the Outback Bowl and we went nine and four. It was the Ridgeway, uh, Nichols, and then me. And you know, of course, we had you know the end the depth, but this depth is is way different. It's just it's just a way different type of vibe. You know, we have finessers, we have powerful rushers, and we have speed rushers. So it's just a, kind of a mixture of everything that we can just play into it. So you can't just you can't just study for one thing. You gotta study for all of it. And you gotta expect who to study it for. And with us rotating and flipping sides, like it's chess, it's a chess game, not chess. So yeah, I think that hurt the previous spring. But does that even enter your mind or how how do you deal with that, I guess, mentally and, and physically? Uh me personally, I like to try to go harder because the harder I go, the less I think about it. And if I put myself in uncomfortable situations, I'll get comfortable in those situations. So I try to put myself more in, in harder positions and practice. So for when I get in the game, I've been there. I've done it. I repped it, you know, plenty of times. And I try to make it, you know, repetitive, you know, because repetition builds instincts. Advice. Dick said he hurt his knee too. Like, is that something like he talks to y'all about? Yeah. This is what I felt. This pushing through it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. All the time. We talk about it all the time, and then we just kind of piggyback off of it. And I got to go back in my head and just think, you know, hey, everybody's been through it. You just got to keep going. Yeah. Same with you, Landon. And thing. yeah, it's. I mean, I think I remember telling TC at the this spring whenever he first started working back in, is that like you see he was just getting. I could tell he was getting mad at himself during practice, but I was like. Bro, your first few weeks back is not going to be the same. It's going to be a little different. And I, I mean, I told him it really, it really just comes with time, the confidence. So uh, he just needed more reps. And I think he's finally getting to the point that he was before his uh, surgery. And I, I think as the season goes on, he's going to get more confident and then get back to normal. So you said there was a point in the spring that you felt like you reached that point, you know, mentally, right? Yes, so what about Cam? Tell me about Cam. What do you think of uh, his, his, his strength? I see five go to work. He is different because he he has the potential to be a power rusher and a finesse rusher. He can bend the corner. He 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 got speed. He got quickness, but he also mainly impacts in, in power. 
So he can beat you up the field, club you inside, and you just you're gonna fly because he's very powerful. And you're gonna overset because he's very quick. You you gotta respect him. Like making the, the rotation, what do you think? Yes, yes, sir. What, what about him? Yes, sir. he's he's very big. He's he's gonna call he's very, very versatile. He's he's gonna be able to make office alignment respect him. They're gonna have to honor him. They can't just let him go. They're, and they're not gonna leave him single up. They're gonna have to double him. So with the double, when I was running a four down, you know, somebody got a one on one, so somebody must win. We, we don't recall as many 300 pounders at tackle as maybe y'all have yeah. right now. How yeah. does that feel? It, it, we have a we have a lot more weight in the room, and, and that's good, you know, through health wise and game plan wise, because it's not you know office armor. They're, they're gonna have, they're gonna have to come with it when they see us. Football, but you know, Deke Adams' sons got called up to the to the big leagues. What? What what did you guys think about that? Maybe what what did you see from him from Deke? You know about that. I mean, I was I was excited for him. He he talked to us and uh uh I want last month was the month where his mom passed away as well. And he said it's just it's it's crazy how God does things because he had the the worst month and the best month of his life all in one all in the same time. And I mean, he was just very excited. I mean, that's that was one of his goals of a father his whole life is to see his son playing the majors. So, I mean, I'm, I'm happy for him. I, th I think it was great. He got to coach Pittman allowed him to go watch that game and everything. And I mean, I just know he's, know he's really excited. Uh, yeah. He, he, he talked, he brags and mm -hmm. boasts about his son all the time. You know, he compares uh, life, life setting situations that he goes on you know, with him and his son, you know, to us. So we know what to expect in our future. You know what I'm saying? We, if we wanted to go pro. You know, just all the similar scenarios and situations. All right, I remember on day one, I was looking at my roster. And I was like, who's 93 here? And I was like, oh, okay, that's Pete Rose. And then you go up and you're standing next to him. And, I mean, you guys are like the exact same size. And I look at the roster, you're listed at 6'3", 303, both of you. Are you guys similar players? What are your – like, what what kind of player is he? Is he a lot like you, you think? He's he's more of a finesse, a, a speed rusher. He, he – he, he most definitely adds versatility to the interior because he can hold the point at the same time, but his his craft is speed, finesse, getting really been in the corner, getting off the edge, and just really making the guys you know split the two. What more of the power guy? Uh, I would think of myself as more of a versatility. I can I can pick and choose just whatever fits the the game style. Atlanta, I was gonna ask you about um. About Quincy Rhodes, like, what do you think about his potential, his upside? Where is he going to be in a year? Oh, he he reminds me a lot of myself when I was younger. I try being a a great mentor towards him, uh, and just he his thing is he he wants to take in too much at one time. You know, he he wants to learn so much, but he doesn't realize how young he is, and he just needs to break it down and get the basics before he tries learning the whole thing. You know, so I, I mean, I try helping him out as much as I can. I think he's really athletic, and I think with time, he's he's going to be a really dominant player and definitely end up being an NFL player someday. So I'm really excited to see where this place takes me.